Hello, Soul Tribe. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful um, morning. I hope this um, video finds you in peace and harmony. If not, I hope that it does bring you peace and harmony. Um, we're going to jump into this. I was seeing... Um, when I when I clicked um, before I clicked record, I looked over and I seen the Pisces sign. So some of you guys could be a Pisces. You could have Pisces anywhere in your chart. You could be dealing with a Pisces. I also got intuition and what's hidden. Okay, when we think of the Pisces sign, that's the water sign, right? So that deals with um, you know your emotions. Some of you guys, your emotions could be clouding your intuition. Um, it could also represent like um, healing because when we release, okay, when we let out a good cry, um, it heals us, okay? Um, it allows us to release stuck energy, okay? Old experiences could be affecting um, your current, um, current situation, your current life. Um, we're going to jump into this. So some of you guys, whatever these experiences are, um, these old triggers that are coming up, it makes you want to go into a cave, find sanctuary. Holy Spirit, I ask that you place the seal of protection around me as I open myself to channel these messages. Um, I ask that um, Archangel Michael, please come down and place the seal of protection around my sacred space, allowing me to channel these messages clearly without any kind of disruptions. Um my beautiful ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you please come down and help me provide clear messages for my divine soul tribe that are actively doing the work to ascend to their highest good, please, and thank you. Let's jump into this. What are the messages, Holy Spirit? Show us what we need to see. Vigilance. Vigilance. Stone people. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's stone as ice. And you are being vigilant around this person. Some this could be you, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest for the next person. You're um I heard somebody's too on guard. Or maybe you're not. I don't know. Okay, you know your your situation. This is just energy I'm picking up. Strength. Somebody could be trying to penetrate your strength, your barrier, your boundary. I heard they're trying to go over because they can't go through. So what the fuck does that mean? Whatever this vigilance, these stone people are, it has made you strong. They have shown you the strength that you have, that you possess within you. Submerged. Iceberg. When you think of this iceberg, that's water. Okay. Somebody could be stone as ice, stone as people, stone as something, mountain. Look at these cards. There's mountains, rocks here. There's mountains, rocks here. There's ice hard as stone, as, I, as iceberg. It's like... You hear that? Garbage truck. Maybe somebody needs to take out the garbage. Somebody needs to... Some kind of alarm is going off. Some kind of um, warning. Uh, 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 about some something, someone, some body, some situation, some place. Movement. That's going to help you move. That spirit is trying to move you out the way. So you're not submerged in it. Find the strength and be vigilant. Something's going to be radiant to you. Like, um, Spirit is trying to show you something.
Let's look up vigilance. Keeping careful watch for possible danger or difficulties. Let's see what it says in the Bible. Alert, alertly watching, watchful, especially to avoid danger. Okay, so there's somebody's being alert. Spirit is telling somebody to be alert here. To avoid this. I'm hearing clash. Somebody could be fire. Somebody could be water. But this iceberg, this strength, this mounting, clashing. What do they need to be vigilant in, Spirit? Something could be trying to block you from moving. It could have to do with emotions. It could have to do with you being too defensive. You're not seeing something. You're not allowing the flow. But let's see. What is this vigilance? Holy Spirit, Archangel, my beautiful ancestors, shine. Something's not allowing you to shine. It's like you feel like something is holding you back, stopping you from coming out. Expressing your authenticity, your creativity, your flow, the beauty, the vibrant, the essence that you are, that you embody. It's like you want to scream like, ah! And all this energy just comes out. It's like something is... I heard seer. I'm also getting... I'm also getting, for somebody here, you feel like you can't be yourself around this person, this person or this situation. Take what resonates. Um, these stone people, they don't have the same energy you embody. You see how it's dark and dull over here? And then it's colorful and creative over there. They will never never see you for who you actually are gratitude what is this gratitude about what is this gratitude about spirit give me a card for gratitude Okay, for somebody here, these whatever this stone thing is, you're grateful for it because um, you realize that you held back for so long and something is able to flow gracefully, I'm hearing. You're grateful for whoever these, this situation, these people, I don't know. Because it's allowing you to, I heard, outshine. Dive deep. Drifter, experience life as it comes. You could have been drifting. You could have had, you could have grew up with people telling you, don't do that. Stop doing that. Don't go there. Stop doing that. That's not a good idea. Like, being vigilant. Like, be cautious of everything you're doing. So you just started drifting.
So you just allowed life to um, experience life as it comes. But deep down inside, you wanted to scream, let it out, the shine, the creativity, the authenticity, the the you. And you, you didn't have the opportunity to allow that to happen. Teachability. Let's get a little bit more. It, it built some kind of strength, resilience within you. Clarify the strength card, Holy Spirit. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Intuition. Ascending Masters. It built your intuition and your connection with the Ascending Masters. I feel like, yeah, like... <clears throat> Create open communication. I feel like you started creating communication with yourself, with the divine, with your ancestors. You built a strong intuition with them, a strong sense of communication with them, allowing you to receive. Acknowledge. I heard cultivate. Oh, snaps. I can never make this up. Max and Spirit, what's this submerged cosmic connection? You could have been somebody that had so many great ideas, but you were always told not to, not to. So you always kept those ideas within self, talking to self. And that built whatever this is, celestial teacher. You've always been guided, whoever you are. Mother Earth. Whoever you are, you have a strong intuition. And I feel like, ooh, I'm hearing you communicate. You're a medium also. I'm hearing. Um, your friends have always been in the spirit realm. The communication you've had has always been in the spirit realm. Because you, you could have been told... As a little child, don't say that. Don't do this. Don't turn left. Don't go. Like, guide. Like, when somebody tells you go right, you wanted to go left. Somebody told you look up, you always wanted to look down. You know what I mean? Or look right. And it's like, ah, like this burst of, of, of you, your essence, wanted to come out. You could find it very pleasing to be in Mother Nature, submerged. In Mother Gaia. Cosmic. This is beautiful. Connection. And celestial teacher with the ascending masters. Your intuition, Mother Gaia. This is like heaven. And I heard. There's a, there's a, there's a message. There's a, a, a card that I have that helped me along my way. And it says, I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. That you are. Mm -hmm. Awaken. These, this people, place, situation, holding you back, scaring you, um, making you feel like danger, caution, vigilant, everywhere you turn, look, say what. Um, it actually allowed you to connect 1444, connect in the spirit realm, communicate openly with them. And <laughs> okay, what is this movement? 
Mm-hmm. Secret temptation. Being led astray. People were trying to lead you astray. And Spirit said, yeah, because they were trying to fragment your soul for movement. Movement where? Movement towards what? The sun. Your communion. Your connection. Your rebirth. They were trying to distort your instincts. Okay? Make you feel scared. Finding sanctuary. They didn't realize by doing that, it was pushing you closer to spirit. <laughs> they try to fragment. Lead you astray. This is crazy. You hear that? Uh, uh. So you could have always had these projections pushed onto you like, oh my gosh, spirit. What is this being led astray? Balance is being restored right now because I feel like you're, you're emerging. You know, as parents, we always want to protect our children. So we say, don't touch that. Don't do that. Oh my gosh, stop doing I know I was that type of parent, you know, but I was so afraid as a child because my mom always had CPS on us when we were little kids. I remember CPS always coming to the house and I was so afraid that that would happen to me. That was the fear that was instilled in me because I witnessed it. I went through it. I seen it. So I grew up with my kids like, don't do this, like, don't do that, you know, and maybe it was not the right thing to do. But for me at that time, in my logic mind, at that time, at that age, at that moment, it was protecting my kids, right? It wasn't, it was never to dissuade them. It was more of, I don't ever want to see my kids being taken away from me. So, yeah, I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure that they don't do anything to um, have that happen. Because kids could be very curious. Kids could be very rambunctious, right? I'm not saying that this is what happens to you, but I feel like maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe that's why Spirit has me talking about it. I don't believe in co coincidences. I believe everything that happened, said, hears, surrounds in a reading is very, very connected. Lost compass, getting back to yourself, the power of community. Um, I feel like it could have created some, you know, and maybe that's maybe I did that to my kids. It created some kind of like, oh my god, be cautious, 9 11 on the clock, where it was blocking the shine. Okay, show me this. Um, let us stray so fragmented. But I had reason, in my logic mind at that time, I had a very good reason to, to, to do that. Be very cautious with my kids because of my experience. But these are, these are things that, these are patterns we have to allow to break. Okay? spiritual gifts it was it was holding harnessing back your experiencing the power the shine within you you could have drifted away from your gifts at some point of time many masks the authentic self it wasn't allowing you to be who you were it was they were it was it was a fragment but i feel like you're moving out of that whoever you are yeah Caterpillar, you're coming out of the cocoon. You're so, you're, you, you are being fragmented, but I feel like the shine, the radiance, the sun is coming out. Something is about to burst. Show me what this, um, straddling worlds, wandering between realms. <clears throat> <clears throat> ah! 
I'm asking spirit, what is this cosmic connection and um, celestial teacher? Right? Cosmic connection, celestial teacher. And for somebody here, you have the ability to wander between realms. Because you built up a strong connection with the spirit realm. When you were always told, don't do that. You didn't have, don't say that. Shut up. Don't, like, I feel like somebody was stunting your growth. And it, and it allowed you to build a strong connection in the spirit realm with your ancestors, with the ascending masters. Oh, come on, spirit. Why do my cars keep flowing? Overflow. Overwhelm and plenty. An overflow. Overwhelm and plenty. Because this is what you wanted. You wanted to, to pour out. But you were pouring, you were holding in. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense to you guys. Show me what this um, intuition and ascending master. Somebody has a strong strength, intuition, ascending masters. A solid connection here. Revelation, connectivity. Somebody's realizing. Revelation. Jude Webb. That looks like a strong connection to like other realms, the, the ascending masters. You have a strong connection. Somebody has built a strong connection. <clears throat> but I feel like these stone people, and maybe they were like me. Right? Maybe they grew up with their parents being so extra cautious and putting kids in a bubble and stuff like that, right? I, I, I don't think I put my kids in a bubble because I've always warned them and told them, kept it real with them about certain things, about things in life. Um, and as they get older, I would tell them a little bit more, whatever, you know, their age bracket could handle. Um, but I've always warned them about how this world is how this world can be and how people are of this world. Um, but I used to always overthink like when I, cause I was a single mom. Like I wondered if, if my son, you know, did he, did he make sure he turned off the stove or, you know, um, I was always like ready for a call to come in. Like, Oh my God, I'm going to get a call, you know, because, I'm working two jobs. My son is the one that's watching my kids, my daughters. I have no family out here. Like, I hope he didn't, like, burn down the house or a flood or something happened or something crazy happened. Like, they were outside in the backyard playing and somebody broke a leg or something like that. Like, I was always in that energy with my kids, like, scared, like, that whenever my phone would ring, it would be something like an emergency, The perfect storm. The perfect storm. I was creating, and this is what somebody went through. Somebody would somebody got somebody was in the perfect storm. But this person was courageous to step into life and shine, no longer drift. They're looking up. They're connected. Up. They're no longer looking down. They don't want to look drift. Eyes of the fray rising above the fray. Eyes of an eagle rising above the fray. Raven cards everywhere. Crows. This is beautiful. Let's get closing message, Holy Spirit.
sometimes we as parents, when we try to stop the worst from happening, we create um, fear in our children. And I wish I would have learned a lot of these this now when my kids were younger. I think I would have been a totally different mom. I know I would have. I knew when I was studying Israelites, God was pushing me on my path back then because I had stopped going to the clubs. I had stopped eating pork. I started doing the Sabbath. I started following certain teachings. Like there were certain scriptures from me learning Israelites that I held near and dear where God says, don't take on the customs of the heating. They, ax, they take an ax to a tree and decorate it in color. That's Christmas. We're not supposed to be doing that. But society makes it makes makes you feel like if you stop your kids from doing that, then you're depriving them of a childhood. No. Who said that? What are am I listening to society or am I listening to the scriptures? Do I care more about what society thinks or do I care about my eternal life and me making sure that my kids have a beautiful I'm not condemning my kids to whatever, you know, traditions or curses or patterns that, that I was, I was being guided to break. Final message is Holy Spirit. And I stopped celebrating certain holidays at a certain age of my kids and they were mad at me, but I knew in my heart, Spirit was telling me, don't do that. Easter, who cares about these eggs? Where did the eggs come from? That's not what Easter meant. It's the resurrection. How did we lose sight of all of this stuff? You know what they did back then with Christmas? I'm not even going to talk about it. Feast. I'm not even going to get that personal. Look it up. In slave days. What, what they used to do for Christmas. With the little kids. Look it up. Do the research. You guys got to get stay informed. And then see if you if your heart still wants you to celebrate that holiday. Library. What did I just say? Do the research. <laughs> fill your spirit. I can never make this up. Don't fill your spirit with what people are saying to you. Fill it yourself. What does it feel like when you're reading it, when you're researching it? And I feel like for somebody here, Spirit is saying celebrate. Because I feel like somebody broke free from some kind of like pattern. That was when they were meant to shine, they were being harnessed in. They were afraid to come out because they were, this is what these stone people were. They were fragmented. They were being led astray. And Spirit was like, no, no, no. Take control over your own narrative, baby. You are the book. You are the pen. This is your story. How does it play out? Write it down. Feel it. Embrace it. Break free. And somebody, I feel like somebody did. And Spirit is saying, slow down and celebrate yourself. Feast. One more. And let's close this out. Somebody was submerged in some kind of drifting life experience. Or maybe this was just like a one-time experience that isolated you, that made you shell in, right? It's going to be different for everybody. This is a beautiful message. And it made you... They try to fragment your mind, leading you astray to be all these other masks when the moment you took that mask off, look at how bright you shined. The radiance, the light within you. So many. One more, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. It was about time 
that this iceberg melted so that you can move forward on this river flow ebb and flow ebb and flow nostalgia what am i talking about focus on the here and now not the past not what's to come in the present moment i seen this when i was shuffling lavender maybe maybe you putting lavender incense in your house would help you surround yourself with love Somebody here has a strong connection with the spirit realm. Look how she's looking. This is her world right here. You see Saturn. You see the mermaid. You see the stars. You see the moon. Seeing rockets. You're able to drift and create the reality that you want. Because whoever you are, you have a strong connection to the ascending masters. Your intuition. A connectivity. A jeweled web. Celestial teacher, Mother Gaia, and cosmic connection. This is beautiful. This is what I have for you guys. If it resonates, like, sh share, subscribe, comment, engage. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm, you know, and it's just amazing. It's just amazing. It's amazing. This is what I have for you guys. Love and light.